It is with a heavy heart that I, together with the Vaad of Netivot Israel, decided to close the synagogue until further notice. This came as an obligation to follow the instructions of the health department, the instructions of the government agencies, and most importantly, the instructions of our leaders, our rabbis, who unanimously decided that every Bet Knesset and every Bet Midah should close. Because by staying open, we may endanger the lives of not only our own congregation, but the community at large. In fulfillment of what it says in the Gemara Masechet Babakama, Daf Samech Amud Bet, Tanu Rabbanan, Dever Ba'ir, Kanes Raglecha, If there is a plague in the city, gather your feet, meaning limit the time you spend out of your house. As it says in Yeshaya in chapter 26, verse 20, Lech ami bo bahadarecha, usgor de la techa baadecha, havikim atrega atki avor zaam. Come, my people, enter in your chambers, shut your doors behind you, hide yourself for a moment until the anger had passed by. So, indeed, everyone is at home now with their children. People are confused, they don't know what they should be thinking now. The fear of the unknown has taken over the mind of people. Until now, we have all lived with the misconception that our lives, our society is so advanced that nothing could invade the comfort in which we live in. We thought that we would never be affected by a virus compared to the ones they had in the Middle Ages. However, Hashem has created a new invisible virus that took the world by surprise scaring the entire population of the world and shaking the world's economy. We, as believing Jews, we do not fear and we do not panic and we do not become anxious and crazy. Rather, we maintain our balance as we pray to Hashem to protect us and to protect the world. We remain calm and faithful to Him. It is clear that everyone is going through very difficult times, and it is our responsibility to understand. However, the question should be, what does Hashem want from us? Why is Hashem closing all the shuls of the entire world, including in Eretz Israel? Doesn't He want our prayers anymore? What do people who never missed the Tfilah B'Tzibur do without a minyan these days? What do people who never miss the Kriyata Torah do this coming Shabbat? What do people who must say Kaddish do during these days? Maybe this is the time for us to reflect and think about why is this Dever, this plague, come upon us? Dever has the same letters as Daber. Maybe Hashem doesn't like the way we come and speak to Him in shul any longer. When He sees us coming to pray with our phones that are put right next to our tefillin, when He sees people browsing their emails, reading their messages while praying instead of speaking to Him. Maybe Hashem wants us to realize that, yes, by coming to pray, it is a very good deed. But it is a disgrace to leave Hashem in the middle of tefillah to go have a conversation with a friend or with a colleague or just reading the news, losing the kavana and the concentration we should have had in our tefillah. Maybe Hashem doesn't like the way children speak to their parents any longer since there is no communication anymore. Children are, thirsting, are texting their parents for whatever they have to say. Even a happy birthday to a parent, to a brother or to a sister, is said via text. A mazal tov to a rabbi is sent via text. An invitation to a dear friend is sent via WhatsApp. So maybe Hashem doesn't like the way we allow ourselves to speak about others when we bash people, when we put them down, when we label them, when we judge people without knowing what they are going through. 
And of course, not speaking about Dola Shonara, that is freely spoken right and left. So Hashem says, maybe I should keep you home to reflect on all this. I want you to try to better yourself in this area. And then we ask, what do our young children have to do with this? Why do they have to stay home? And why does my wife and myself be stuck with them 24-7? Maybe our family values are to be repaired. Maybe we do not dedicate the right time to our children on a regular basis. Hashem wants to remind us that He is in control. He wants to bring our attention back to Him. And Hashem says, I am keeping you at home so I can, I can bring you together as families and as neighbors. I am teaching you how to have patience. I am reminding you of your purpose in life and I want you to rearrange your priorities. Now is the time to learn and teach your children what life is really about. I think that we should take these lessons and look at the positive side of what Hashem is doing to us. Yes, we cannot go to shul for the moment. Yes, it is a mitzvah to do a tefillah betzibur. But it is a greater mitzvah to listen to our rabbis and to make sure that we are not putting anyone in danger. Let's all look at the fact that this Shabbat the entire Jewish nation will be home to spend Shabbat with their families because they are all confined to their home. Let's pray that every Jewish woman will light Shabbat candles and that every father will say Kiddush and Birkat Geffen. As you know, by making the Bracha on the Geffen, we can reverse the Negev to a blessing. Geffen is the same letters as Negev. With a Birkat Geffen, we will have a Bracha of Geffen. No more Negev. Geffen stands also for Gimel Pe Nun. Gimel for Gesund, for health. Pe for Parnasa. Nun for Nahat. When he sees the beautiful Shabbat that we have prepared, and let's try to make this Shabbat the most beautiful one, with joy and happiness. This will be a real Oneg Shabbat. In merit of this Oneg, then the Nega, which is the same letters as Oneg, the plague, will go away very soon. Let's not forget that we must read the parasha from Humash, even praying Bayahid. The parasha of this week is Vayakhel Pikudeh. And since we are ending the Sefer Shemot, let's all say it together this Shabbat. After we end the parashiot, after we end Sefer Shemot, Hizku via Ametz Levachem Kolem Yahalim Lashem. Hazak, Hazak, Vinit Hazak. Let's pray that we should all have the strength and our Emunah in Hashem. And Hashem will give us back strength to go through this Beshalom. Then Hashem, Be'ezrat Hashem, will bring us Besorot Tovot, Yeshuot Venehamot, Geula Shelema Bimera Be'amenu Amen. I wish you all Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to miss you all. And Be'ezrat Hashem, very soon, we'll go back home. We will be in our Netivot Israel. And please remember, if anyone needs anything, feel free to call me at any time. I am here for you. And Be'ezat Hashem, we will have some more classes as well via Zoom. Be'ezat Hashem, Shabbat Shalom, Vuach.